the Duke of Cambridge, 39, yesterday attend the Royal Foundation's Emergency Services Mental Health Symposium in London. The Duke announced the Blue Light Together raft of mental health support for the emergency services. The support package is the latest assistance provided to frontline workers in recent years by the Royal Foundation, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's charitable vehicle. Emergency service chiefs, frontline workers, policymakers and academics all converged for the symposium, which included a panel discussion on mental health. William also delivered a keynote speech alongside Metropolitan Police Commissioner Gressa de Dick. The event was hosted in tandem with the National Police Chiefs Council, National Fire Chiefs Council and the Association of Ambulance Chief Executives. William's understanding of the emergency services is informed by his former role as an RAF search and rescue helicopter pilot, which he gave up in September 2013. The Duke spoke about his own mental health struggle and his life-changing moment in a BBC documentary last year. Paul O'Grady's blunt advice to Meghan Markle to avoid riling up Queen in football, Prince William and our mental health, the future king focused on the beautiful game as a way to get men to open up about their mental health. Speaking to ex-Premier League footballer Marvine Sordell, William discussed the impact of family life on mental health, and referenced the untimely death of his mother, Princess Diana in 1997. He said, I can relate to what you're saying. Having children is the biggest life-changing moment. It really is. I agree with you. I think when you've been through something traumatic in life, like you say, your dad not being around, my mother dying when I was younger, your emotions come back in leaps and bounds. Because it's a very different phase of life and there's no one there to kind of help you. I've definitely found it at times, very overwhelming. Sordell, a former England under-21 striker, retired from football in 2019 age 28, pointing to his mental health as a major factor in his decision. The forward, who had played for Team GB in the Olympics, ended his contract with League One side Burton Albion. Sordell, who made 300 appearances in his career, had previously battled depression and had tried to take his own life. On announcing his retirement, he wrote on Twitter that the ugly side of the game had been hugely detrimental for his mental health. Royal crisis as fans turn on Kate and Prince William after BBC Christmas snub, latest safe Kate Middleton was urged to speak up, needed to hear more from her, insight Camilla was Queen's worst nightmare dash but her best possible hope for royal family, analysis, Sordell claimed he experienced racism on several occasions, and said bullying, manipulation and verbal abuse in football had left a dirt stain on the game. Speaking to William, who is president of the Football Association, he asked the Duke who he turned to for support in times of need. William said, me and Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, particularly, we support each other, and we go through those moments together and we kind of evolve and learn together. But I do agree with you, I think, emotionally. Things come out of the blue that you don't ever expect or that maybe you think you've dealt with. So, I can completely relate with what you're saying about children coming along. It's one of the most amazing moments of life, but it's also one of the scariest. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have three children together, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Clips of football, Prince William and our mental health are available on the BBC One website.